for the kind introduction and one quick round of applause to the music for MS organization and everything that they do. As it was mentioned, I will be running the New York City Marathon on November 1st. I'm heading into my 10th week of training. Um, I have 10 more weeks to go, so I'm almost halfway there. The past two days, I completed uh, two half marathons back to back. I replicated, I was successful at replicating my MS symptoms that I will be faced with um, during the New York City Marathon and as I run with 50,000 of my closest strangers. Um, but that's not the real reason why I'm doing this. I'm actually doing this for four individuals with MS. Um, there are a couple of my peers, and there are four individuals that inspire me. And I want to make sure to tell their story. Uh, the first is Nancy Wyland. And Nancy has this perpetual smile. And every time I see this smile, it just um, it brightens up my day. And she has this can-do attitude about her, and, and she never lets uh, MS get in the way. And, and I'm so grateful and inspired by Nancy. Um, Dick Woodruff is another individual um, that inspires me. And it's kind of more of an interesting relationship because I think of him more as my Gestapo. He, he, he's the guy that whenever I'm sad and having a bad day, he has this catchphrase, and I don't know if he knows he has this catchphrase, but, but the catchphrase is, look here, buddy. And, and, and you know, so, so we need to change the perspective. We're not allowed to be sad. We're not allowed to be this. And that, that's exactly what he says. Um, so Nancy and Dick. I, I also am running for Elise Martin, and, and she's a youthful individual with MS who no matter what happens, and, and her progression has went rapidly, and, and she always finds a way to get around everything. And I, I really want to be able to embrace my MS the same way that she does. And, and then lastly, I'm running for uh, Deb Topolsky. And Deb was one of the first individuals that I met with MS in this past spring. Unfortunately, she passed away from complications to her MS. And Deb had this very calming demeanor that would make pretty much any Buddhist monk jealous. So these are four individuals that I'm running the MS, or the New York City Marathon for. Um, Nancy, Dick, Elise, Deb, all make me want to be better with my MS. So I know I won't let them down, um, but whenever I cross that finish line in New York City, I also know that I, I carry um, in my heart the entire MS community. And, and I'm very grateful for that in, in this opportunity um, to run the New York City Marathon. And, and there's one more individual I want to share with you. And in 1974, this, this guy named Gordy Ansley, he, he bought a horse, and it's kind of a crazy story. So he buys this horse and enters into a horse race. It's a hundred mile horse race across the Sierra Nevadas um, in California. And what he didn't know was the horse was lame. This horse couldn't move, let alone run a hundred miles, right? With, with a rider on his back kind of like MS, right? It's kind of lame. It sucks. Um, and he took that bad situation and turned it into a challenge. And he said, okay, I don't have a horse, but I got two legs. So I'm going to run the 100 miles without the horse. And, and, and that's exactly what he did. Um, and in describing his feet, uh, he, he was just under the 50-mile mark. He, he said something that was really profound and struck, struck me. And, and he said that there was no way I was going to make it to the finish line. There was no way I was going to make it to the 56 mile marker through the next set of canyons. I was evaluating and, and visualizing my decline with every mile. 
I had hit bottom. I thought to myself, what can I do? I simply asked myself, what can I do? And it came to him. And he said, I can take one more step. I can take one more step until I fall over. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Gordy finished the 100 miles in just under 24 hours, the same time limit that was imposed for the horses. In fact, he actually beat some horses. This race, from that day forward, would become known as the Western States 100. And it was the first ultra marathon in the world. Um, in Gordy's words, again, today we would tell people that it was suicidal. We would tell them to come back tomorrow to finish the race, right? There's always another day. We hear that all the time. Well, I, I say to you that because of life, many times it gives us one opportunity, one chance, right now, right here today. So in the spirit of Gordon, I will take one more step towards the New York City Marathon. I ask that you take one more step, whether it be one more dollar to the Music for MS organization, whether it be meeting me here after I'm done speaking and talking about how you can help me get through the New York City Marathon, or whether it's you looking across at an individual with MS saying, you're not alone. You see, we can all take one more step. I greatly appreciate your time, and I look forward to seeing everyone again next year with a wonderful story to tell. Now, I gotta go, I, I, I gotta go see a, uh, individual, a man about a horse. So, enjoy the evening. These guys that are banging on the drums are really excellent, so thank you.